All right, so I'm gonna go over to the brooder box where we keep our chicks. And we've been doing deep litter for at least six months now. And so we've got a good thick pile going. I'm gonna put it in the wheelbarrow and then I'm gonna go over to our garden and I'm gonna spread just a thick layer of that stuff on our beds that we've used this past spring. Let it sit all winter and all that poop, the small shavings are gonna degrade into the soil and hopefully we'll have a good garden this coming spring. All right, look at this. This is probably five to six months worth of this chick poop shavings. We get the fine shavings, so they're a little bit smaller and easier to break down. We've got hay in there, and all that's gonna be used to put, be put on the garden and break down over time even more. Oh. <laughs> or break down in my comic box. <laughs> all right, remember guys, some of the benefits that I've read from having a deep litter brooder box is that this stuff is decomposing and microorganisms and little bugs come in and eat in the, eat on this. And then when you put the chicks in, they scratch and dig for those organisms or bugs and it provides it's just a full circle of nutrition. I'm done with this in here for now, but I'm gonna go put it on my garden and it's gonna continue that cycle of breaking down and feeding the soil. So having a deep, Litter uh, brooder box is a great and benefit beneficial way uh, to reuse things on your homestead and in the garden. So, and two, I need more mulch, but I have this so I can kind of use this as well and go get more mulch and just kind of see which works best. So. Well, that wasn't really a huge project for us. It's something that just needs to get done on the farm. I think it's kind of hard sometimes being on YouTube because people want entertainment, entertainment all the time. But when you're homesteading, sometimes all the chores and things to do aren't glamorous. But to get a garden, you have to do the work. You know, to build your home, you have to do the work. This upcoming video, we really hope you come back and check it out. We are going to be preparing for our first big winter storm of the year. We don't get a lot of them down in Texas, but the ones we tend to get, it's just one and it just drops the temperature super low. And we'll share some tips and things that we keep on hand here that make those storms like they're not even happening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.